So we started with this wood cutout and we're going to go with a milk bottle. And we started by giving it two coats of Snow Owl from Wise Owl Paint. Now this measures approximately 19 by 7 inches. And once it was completely dry, we took a 220 grit sandpaper and just gave it a nice quick sanding. Now using some black from Wise Owl Paint and a small skinny art brush, I started by just making an outline of a cow spot. Now we just hand painted this on and once we had the outline we took a fatter art brush and just filled it in. And now we just did this randomly throughout our milk bottle. And we are going to place some stenciling on this, so you want to make sure that you don't add too many spots or you'll have no room for your stencil. Now paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And once I had all my cow spots on. I had this stencil I got from Hobby Lobby. It says Farmer's Market. And I placed it at the top of my milk bottle. Now using some painter's tape, I just tape around the stencil covering any lettering that I do not want to hit when I go to dab the paint on. Now using a foam dabber and some goldenrod paint, I just lightly dab over the word farmers. When you use the foam dabber, you just want to make sure you have a very small amount of paint on your dabber and you're just dabbing very lightly on top and this will help prevent any bleeding. And then I just took a small art brush and I just filled in the lines. I then took the stencil and I positioned it where I'd want the market to land underneath the word farmers. And I just took more painter's tape and taped around the cow. Once I had that in place, I took another foam dabber and some more black wise owl paint. And I just lightly dabbed on top of my cow. Now we get our foam dabbers from Amazon. And once we had the cow completely covered, we lifted the stencil and we laid it down one more time so we could stencil on the word market. So we did the same thing here. We took our painter's tape and we boxed out the word market. And using more goldenrod from Wise Owl Paint and the foam dabber, we just went over that word. Now for anybody that may be interested in making their own, we were able to grab a few extra supplies and make some kits that we can mail out to you. And you will be able to find those on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And I took some white paint and just added the center of the R there that was missing. Now this other stencil was from Waverly. We got it from Walmart and I just took the five cent stencil and put it in one of the cow spots. Now once everything was dry, I took some jute and at the bottom of the milk bottle, I just wrapped it around about 10 times, cut it and just tied a knot. I found this burlap flower from Hobby Lobby. I glued that on and then I layered it with a sunflower. Now to finish it off, I took more jute and I tied it around the rim of the bottle. Now as mentioned earlier, we had grabbed some extra supplies and we were able to put together a limited amount of kits that we can mail to your home. So if you enjoyed this, go check that out on chalkitupfancy.com. 
Guys, thank you so much for watching. Paint products can also be found at our website, and we hope you have a great day.